Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. This is Makos World and you are Traveler Study Abroad in G. It's been a long time and a long time coming. Yes, uh, thank you my returning subscribers for being with us so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do well to hit on the subscription button and welcome to the channel if you are new. And this channel is everything about traveling, getting the chances to study, work, travel abroad, okay? Um, in today's video is another insightful one and we are going to Canada, all right? We have the McCall McBain Scholarship, which covers everything, including tuition, airline ticket, you know, everything that you are supposed to pay and take care of everything. So I'll be exploring this website and other numerous scholarships you can also get, 130 scholarships you can also get. Do want to check the video description because I'll put down some information there for you, alright? So without further ado, if you haven't liked this video yet and you like the content, do want to hit the like button and let's go. Alright guys, so this is the website, uh, mcgill.ca um, forward slash grad applicants forward slash, okay? Now, this is the homepage, you know, future graduate students discover the right program for you. Okay, so this is the, the um, homepage, the overview of the homepage. You can just go ahead and check them all out. And this is in Canada, um, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Okay, it's an amazing uh, scholarship offer that you can jump on them. So we can explore the programs and explore the experiences, discover the experiences, and then we'll check on the scholarships and how to go about them, all right? So now let's find your program. Let's see the list of programs they have. Uh, there are eligible programs to check them all out. Okay, so there's the programs and we have inter-faculty studies and cultural and then environmental sciences, arts, dental medicine and oral health sciences, education, engineering, law, um, uh, the short tells faculty of management is management medicine and health science and the school of music and then of course science here and yeah these all these are phd and graduate uh, or master's programs it's not bachelor's phd and master's programs okay now let's take the program overview um mccall mcbain um scholars scholarship leading with purpose now the program overview here is that um, it's more about the financial support, you know, and they believe in the power of community. So the program brings together a diverse group of scholars who aspire to lead with purpose and individuals who have demonstrated leadership potential and an inner drive to make a positive impact in other people's lives. And this can be likened or compared to the children's scholarship that, you know, the UK gives. So this one is in Canada. The McCall McBain Scholarship. So, while you and your fellow scholars will go on to work on a broad range of challenges in different sectors, you share a vision for the kind of leaders uh, you want to be. So, leaders who serve others with integrity and humility, who are committed to continual learning and the bridge building, and who take bold, meaningful risks. Okay, and like I said, they have 130 scholarships. Now, uh, as a McCall McBain scholar, you'll be able to pursue a fully funded master's or second entry professional undergraduate program at McGill University. Second entry, okay, uh, professional undergraduate program. And the scholarship will cover your full tuition fees for a full normal duration of a master's or professional program, a living stipend of 2000 uh, Canadian dollars per month during the academic terms and a one-time relocation grant for moving to Montreal which means it's going to be going to pay you money to travel uh, expenses uh, air ticket to move to Montreal now scholars who are not pursuing academic term during the summer may you know apply for five thousand uh, Canadian dollars to pursue in for summer experiences which is amazing so this is a whole package you would want to jump onto it now, um, there are other scholarships you can go ahead and check it out. This program will give you tools like develop your leadership skills, connect with mentors and advi uh, advisors, and uh, you build a community, which is very, very important. 
Now these are the eligible degrees like we checked from the first page. Now you can apply for McCall McBain Scholarship in 2023 if you are planning to apply for summer of fall 2024. Admissions to a full-time master's or a second entry professional graduate program at McGill University. So this stands to reason that you need to apply for a program there before you can apply for the scholarship, okay? And now Canada has made it very easy. You don't have to go for an, an interview. You just need to support your application with relevant documents and that's all about it. Bank statements, uh, your admission letter, your transcripts, and uh, the scholarship of course, and then that's it, okay? Now, for master's degree, they have arts, uh, architecture, arts and teaching, learning, teaching and learning, business administration, they have education, master's in engineering, information studies, management, music, um, public policy, science, uh, science applied, science applied in physical therapy, science applied in occupational therapy, uh, work, social work, urban planning, law, and sacred theology. Okay, they have more of the programs also down there, and you can check the secondary entry professional undergraduate degrees in law, dentistry, and medicine. Graduate certificate, executive, master's program, PhD, or joint degrees are examples of programs not covered by McCall McBain scholarship. Qualifying year students may apply at the start of their qualifying year for the upcoming master's degree at McGill. All right, so that's the experience. Um, you can check all these out if you have the time to watch a video and you know check them out what's going on now they have 130 scholarships and awards available for 2024 this is what i wanted you to know and um up to 30 mccall mcbain scholarships and 100 finalists and regional awards will be offered to candidates who distinguish themselves during the interview process for our 2024 cohort so you'll be interviewed once you are selected to verify you know your level of, of uh, knowing <laughs> now canadian applicants including canadian citizens and permanent residents and refugees you have 20 mccall mcbay scholarships that's the quota okay 30 finalists awards of 30, 10 thousand dollars uh, canadian dollars and 30 regional awards of five thousand uh, canadian dollars and the tenable at any public university in canada okay now for international applicants any other citizenship or nationality you have 10 McCall McBain 25 uh, finalist awards of 20,000 uh, you have 15 regional awards of 10,000 and which is tenable at any public university in Canada which is amazing you know to get on to it so from there we'll get on to the application so this is about it um, application steps, submit your application, application support, accept your admission letter, visit tennis gym and all of that. Now, ready to begin your graduate journey and join a distinguished community of over 10,000 graduate students, consult a minimum admission in the comments below. So, all applicants regardless of country, of origin or educational backgrounds must meet these minimum academic requirements, which is very important. You need your bachelor's degree because it's a master's program, okay? Uh, or equivalent as recognized by McGill University in a subject closely related to one of the selected graduate work. So your your bachelor should kind of a little you know closely related to the program you want to offer. Unless otherwise noted, the master's program at McGill requires a completion of a four-year degree in a related area at a recognized institution. Okay. Admission to a doctoral degree requires a completion of master's at uh, the recognized institution. So the minimum GPA is 3.0 over 4.0. Uh, point the graduate point, the grade point average GPA is 3.2 out of 4.0 and all of that. In the last two years of full-time studies, so in your last two years, not from the first year, so it could be third year and fourth year, okay. Now, in some departments, however, a higher GPA, a CGPA is required for admission. So, you need to consult the program requirements for details, all right? And your educational credentials should be assessed and all of that. Proficiency of English, primary language of instruction is English. So, you may take arrangement to write some papers, examination, and all these 
in French, except the cases where knowledge of English language is one of the objectives of the course prior to admission. So you may need to demonstrate adequate level of English proficiency. And one thing you need to know is that if you have your, your you know, your previous studies in English, then you are good to go. All right. So that's it. Once you are ready, you go ahead and then you apply. Once you click on this one, it will bring you to this page here. Um, call my name Scholars. If you're a first timer, you can create an account here. If you're new, you just log in and then you, will, you go on with the application. It's open now. Uh, the deadline is in August, then in September. If you have been, um, you know, started already, you don't have an account. You click create an account. It will take you to a page where you um, you complete the form, email, first name, last name, date of birth. You continue and then it moves you on and on and on so guys that's all about it it's uh, quite amazing and easy to go on with it i will end here if you have any questions please put them down in the comment section and i'll get at you thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one all right cheers